In tonight's home of the brave, after more than 75 years, the USO building in Jacksonville is now closed. News Channel 12 Sharon Denkwa joins us now live in Jacksonville to explain why the building's closed and what this means for service members in the area. Sharon, what are officials telling you? Frank, officials say the building has significant structural damages that makes it unsafe for people to use. Now, organization leaders say they're using what they have to help service members in the area, but they say they're still waiting for answers. Unfortunately, there's some structural damages. Damages operations supervisor Megan Bogg says makes the Jacksonville USO building unsafe to use. The building is 80 years old, so it's been a little sad, but exciting that the team here and our volunteers, we get to be a part of the future. Bog says they're staying positive, but working without a building has its challenges. Officials say although they aren't able to host some of the events they're used to, they still managed to help more than 82,000 service members in the last few months. So we will be putting on those programs. We are still providing rack pack support to ensure that deployments and movements are taken care of, and we will work um, with the installations to ensure that we put together programs that match what their needs are for their service members of today. Bog says they're still offering programs for kids, raising money and providing support groups for active duty service members. While we figure out where our new home is and what that looks like, we're not just going to go home and give up. We're going to keep going and we're going to keep pushing and the USO is going to be there for their service members. Organization leaders say they want service members in the area to know that they are still here to help. Live in Jacksonville, Sharon Dankwa for News Channel 12.